Renico's Massive Tips! Enforcer Battle Tactics The Enforcer is the Hunter Caberjack Hybrid class. They get some of the close range and knockback abilities of the Caberjack. They give you a tougher, more durable Hunter with some abilities that I kind of find of questionable utility. Uh, they do work relatively well with the Blunderbow, so I'll show you some of that. But in general, I still would prefer the long distance capability. Okay, starting off, at level 2, the Hunter gets Knockback Arrow. This is what allows them to stun targets. Keep in mind that unlike the Knockback ability of the Caberjack, it doesn't stun the target unless they hit something else. So it's useful, but it's not as useful. It's also kind of difficult to know exactly what path an enemy that's pushed back will take, so I try to make sure I'm going with straight lines, because if I don't go with a straight um, cardinal line, basically, or, you know, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, uh, often I will find that it didn't go in the direction I anticipated, and everything is ruined. Okay, at level 2, you get a choice between Honed Hearing and Point Blank Shot. I almost would never would pick Point Blank Shot unless I've decided for some reason to go with Blunderbows, which I almost never would. So, generally I would take Honed Hearing. This does mean that Honed Hearing is kind of redundant if more than one or two characters in the group have it, uh, but that means don't take more than two Enforcers in a group, typically you have other classes you can use so this is an unusual circumstance but hey I really do like the extra visibility that honed hearing provides me and then at level six you get the choice between stand ground and blinding shot this is actually an interesting choice stand ground makes your characters much much more durable especially with the immunity to knockback effects because that means a twitcher can't swap with one of your heroes and then just wreck a hunter. I have literally had advanced twitches one shot a hunter, especially ones that I've given sponge stones. It's not nice when it happens and this completely eliminates that risk. On the other hand, blinding shot also reduces your risk of being attacked. So these days I'm tending a little bit more towards stand ground, but it's a it's actually a reasonably difficult choice. In this case I'm going to grab stand ground. Also, I should note that stand ground works really well with the blunderbows because it means you won't accidentally stun your character with knockback. So, keep that in mind if you're going for a blunderbow. At level 8, you get a choice between fortify, which is nice, it reduces the damage not just of that hero, but of all heroes nearby, or scoot and shoot, which in general I will prefer. Because Scoot and Shoot lets you move after hitting something, which means you can do the wonderful thing of pop out behind a rock, shoot something, pop back behind the rock, and then they have to chase you. It's great for luring enemies into ambushes, and in general it is just a great way of being able to damage, but still get the hell out of there. Finally, we have, of course, Chalk 1-Up. All Hunters and Hunter Hybrid classes get Chalk 1-Up. It's useful, it means you do more damage the longer the battle lasts. Until the end of the game though, you probably should be funneling the kills to someone that still has levels to get, or someone that has a relic. So if you've got a hero with a relic, then yeah, chalk one up is really useful. Otherwise, not so much. But that's kind of the case with most of the level 10 abilities. They are awesome abilities, but you probably should be feeding the kills to someone else. Uh, Alright, so with that said, let's equip this fella, or this uh, lady actually, I'm sorry. Uh, so, as always, Veil Armor. I haven't even bothered researching the non-cadence armor. Veil Armor is just amazing. It's better than the basic armor. I kind of find it silly that it doesn't automatically equip, given that it is in every way better than the basic armor, but that's how the game works. And then, in terms of items, I've got a lot of the different accessories researched now. Uh, I actually quite like Sponge Stone, even though it reduces the hit points of the hero, just because it means I don't need to worry about healing during the middle of the fight, but all of these are useful.
Um, so I'm gonna go with sponge stone here um, because I can. Uh, steady hander is useful as well if you're trying to uh, boost a low accuracy character. And here we go, we've got our team of enforcers, we're up against bulwarks, twitches and lapses. Uh, we'll see, I'm not sure which of those will be advanced, but we should have a good time here. There's a stillness to the air right before battle. Okay, we've got the basic lapses. And we've got the added advantage of knowing that, hey, there are a bunch of enemies just behind things here. There, and there, and there. Okay, cool. So this seems like a pretty good time to use knockback. Can we see it? If we can't see them, that would be really awkward. That is really awkward. Can I even target that? No. Well, if we can't see it, that's fine, because we'll just knock this guy back. Or we'll miss, because missing happens. Uh, okay, so, starting off, we shoot this fella. And we pop out here, we pop out here to do it. There's our twitcher. Okay, actually, point blank shot. Point blank shot does that. In fact, we don't even need point blank shot. Uh, so we'll just kill this guy. And because we've got uh, the ability to resist knockback effects, we take one damage in the process, but that's fine. We got a level. Sweet. Uh, now we've got another regular guy. Uh, so here, I want to move to this point. I want to be able to attack the laps, but I don't want the knockback from the laps, if it reaches me, to cause me problems. Okay, there we go. We've got our uh, lapses revealed here. Uh, this is kind of awkward because we're going to stun if we kill that lapse. Uh, so, we're using a regular crossbow with them. I would rather kill the lapse and not have that problem than kill the lapse and have the problem. Okay, actually, this is where a skipping stone comes in handy. Skipping stone allows me to shift with someone else who's in pos who's in fact out of position. Uh, so then we can duck over here to a point blank shot which moves uh, wait duck over here to a point blank shot which moves us out of uh, the way of these things when they explode and yeah that actually works out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. And stand ground see didn't get shifted. We do have those fellas. Uh, and they, uh, being advanced bulwarks, are a bit of a pain. Uh, let's see. So let's just see if we can get a knockback shot at just the right angle. We've got one, one last chance to do this. Hi, everything. That's not ideal. But I'm hoping that's mostly eagle-eyes. Yeah, no, you're totally not going where I want you to. But it was worth a shot. That guy didn't even get stunned, it's worth noting. He just got pushed back. So that was a that was not a good outcome. But eh. It was worth a it was worth a go. Just need him to live. And then I'll be more careful. You move up and still get to attack. Damn. Well, fortunately that extra evasion from uh the all of the abilities. Uh, oh, spotter! Joy. Oh, there's two of them. And that's one of the guys. Do they have? Yes, they. Oh, it was a glancing blow. Never mind. I was like, wondering if they had stand ground. Okay. Okie dokie. So, uh, we do. How much damage do you do? Yeah. I think I am mostly looking at blunderbows to finish these guys off, which is fine. Because that's what a, that's the advantage of a blunderbow. If I was going into battle regularly with these guys, they probably would be the characters that I had given relics to. In this case, none of my heroes really have relics, so I don't really get that. But, shit happens. Uh, you die. 
I might as well just finish both of those off and let them come to me. Because most of my knockback shots have been consumed. Which is the downside of a knockback shot. You get two turns cooldown after you try and use it. Um, wait. You, lady. Get popped. Wow, they were really close to level 7. As a group. I think every single one of them has leveled. Which is useful. Not gonna, not gonna say that's a thing I regret or anything. And you guys wander up. Hello! I wonder if the Twitcher will get in swap range. Because it's got spotters. And you just, yep, yeah, just hit that rock. So you can see that I'm actually out of her sight radius, which means that that's why she's not bothered me. Okay, you are injured. Uh, you can do how much damage? Uh, you, okay. You got a blunderbow. Uh, never mind. Okay, so point blank shot will kill him. I'm actually using point blank shot a fair bit. It's not the worst choice if you got a blunderbow. It's just that if you have a relic, what are you doing with this? Why would you make this decision? Okay, so. Wait, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop out. Then I'm going to kill her, I think. you. Swap these two because you're no longer useful. Knock back shot. So you can see that actually I don't have the um, like I can just kill this but that guy's totally getting swapped with. Eh, whatever. They don't have a sponge stone. They've got something else. What did I give you? You got, oh of course you got the uh, swapper stone. I've never used the Swapper Stone before this playthrough, but I like it. It is nice. And yes, you can do enough damage now, thanks to your level. One thing I don't think I've mentioned in any of the hybrid class videos is hybrid classes get the benefit of their primary classes uh, training and the half of the secondary classes training. Which means that if we look at this guy's stats, uh, they have, oh, this girl's stats, uh, they have a really big dex boost and a decent strength boost. I don't think that many of their skills use strength, but still, it's worth noting. It's worth keeping in mind that actually they do get some bonuses there. And we will move you up. You are a regular crossbow. got nothing that actually gives you a straight up skill. Okay, we'll walk over there. Always nice when they reveal these things. And you've got nothing to swap with. So. Yeah, this one of my characters has a long sight. Okay. So. Haste Hooch. Haste Hooch is instant use. I should actually do tips on these individually later on, but yeah, haste hoots is instant. Um, does not even consume an action to use. And here we should be able to. No, we can't. Ah, oh, everything's ruined. I'll just back up. Okay, let's get up here. See what we can see. Ah, hi there, other Twitcher. So there's a bulwark and a twitcher over there. Let's just uh, group them. I think actually if I hit you with knockback you'll hit something. Yes, there we go, you're stunned. Stunned characters still provide visibility. So not actually totally safe here. Let's just move characters up. Yep, there's the other bulwark. We knew they existed, so not a surprise, people. Not a surprise. But 
just keep an eye on different terrain that's around. Because, yeah, you can totally use that to your advantage. Oh, yeah, that... Yep, twitch up that, that rock. That rock did you wrong. And you need to show it what for. Um, I... What I could do here is run up and do point blank shot. Well, what's the point? These guys are actually low enough health. And I have high enough stats that there's no real point in worrying about it. And you die. Fantastic. Okay, you. Um, yeah, so here, damage 55 to 60. You have 40 HP, but how much armor? You have 8 armor. So, really, you be dead. Just need to be close enough to punch you in the face. Yes. yes. Calm down. You're going to I love that the numbers are that deterministic. It's not percentage, it's straight DR. And I can make those... No, I can do the maths in my head. Um, yeah, it means that the system is actually relatively transparent if you look at the numbers. It's very easy to not look at the numbers though, so keep that in mind. Someone has a blunderbow here. You have a blunderbow here. Why don't you just kill them? Whoops, that was silly. Oh, good thing they both have stand ground. <laughs> Oh, that's that's luckier than it should be. I really should not have uh, needed that luck. But yeah, so here we go. And I got to go through a bit more of the items than I normally do. So that was nice. This is how you use enforcers, especially when they're a little bit over leveled and you have okay. a lot of options I was available. For a little bit, but... Okay, get out there, kill some Cadence, and next week we start on alchemy. Bye.